Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and today we're going to make a sub bass inside of machine with no third party plugins. So let's select a pad and make sure you're in sound over here and not master or group. So click on sound, click on the plus sign, internal drum synth, and we're going to pick a kick. And this is what our kick sounds like. All right, sweet. So here are some of the controls that we get with our kick. But if you hit this button over here, it's going to take you to the mixing window, which can be controlled by hitting tab on your keyboard. So tab and then hit tab again and we're here. So here is our drum synth kick and here are our groups and then the sounds. So in our drum synth, we have sub over here, but we also get a lot of different options. So let's check them out. And I'm also going to bring this velocity to the middle. So it just makes it a bit louder. All right, sweet. So you can see that they all have different controls and different kinds of knobs that come with each kind, but we're going to focus on sub because we're going to make a nice deep sub kick. So over here we have the sub and then we have the note on the left. So right now it's playing a G1 and we can bring this down to F sharp one. And we have all these different options, but we're going to stick to F sharp one because F sharp and G sharp are two very bassy notes. So we also have this decay over here. So let's see what the decay does when we bring it all the way up. So you can see that it rides on for longer. And if we make it shorter, we don't have as much release. All right, sweet. And then we have the pitch bend and that's exactly what it sounds like. It bends the pitch. So we have a bend and a time control. So it's basically just bending the pitch. So check this out. So that decides the pitch where it should start bending from and the time. The time decides how long it takes for it to bend. So pitch bend is a really good way to add punchiness or some kind of punch to your kick. And if you don't want it, you can just take it all the way to zero, but we're going to keep it at this setting right here. All right. So we have the attack over here and we have two more options. So the thick and noise, and here's what the thin sounds like. So like an analog click sound, like a really short click attack. And then the thick, So it makes the attack a little more prominent. And then we have noise, which is essentially white noise. So noise and thick are kind of similar. All right, so let's grab a internal. So we're gonna click on this plus sign over here and grab an internal EQ. So we have this EQ over here and we're gonna bring down the high and we're gonna increase, actually in the attack, let's just bring it all the way down because we just want a sub kick. Okay, so let's also increase the low shelf by two dB at a hundred Hertz or somewhere close. All right, and this is before the EQ. All right, sweet. So let's go ahead and add a internal compressor. And if you hit tab, or go back to this window, you can see that our compressor comes with these settings, but you can't see the gain reduction unless you go back over here. And then you can see your uh, VU meter and your values. So we're going to take the attack about, actually, let's take it all the way up. And the release, we're going to take it all the way up. And then the threshold, let's also take the amount all the way up. And then the threshold, we're going to play with that until we see gain reduction. So nice and punchy attack. All right, so it's sounding a lot more tighter. So let's go ahead to the plus sign, grab an internal 
and let's go down to saturator. And our saturator comes with three different kinds of saturators. So we have the tape and we have the tube. And this is what the tube sounds like. And you can see it starts clipping over here. So we got to be careful with that. All right, but I like classic a lot more. And here's what our tape sounds like. But we're going to go to classic, bring down the contour a bit. And then what I like to do is keep a low drive and a high input. And it gives a really clean, deep distortion. So if you want less distortion, keep the drive a little lower than this. All right, so that sounds very fat. And if you want to make any more changes, you can go ahead, make changes to your pitch bend. So that'll add more punch to your kick, or you can take out the punch. And then you have your decay. All right, guys, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. And definitely stay tuned for more. Peace.